honestly swear by meal prep. I've been meal prepping for so long now and it honestly makes life so much easier. It makes it so much easier to eat healthy. It makes it so easy just to like do other stuff and not have to focus on like making good food or anything like that. It's lunchtime now. I'm very, very hungry. So what I'm going to do is actually make a whole meal. I'm going to have it for lunch and then I'm actually just going to make a massive batch of it. And the recipe I'm going to be meal prepping tonight is one of my all time favorites. Like I probably have this a solid couple times a week and that is my healthy, like gluten free vegan pasta. That's like so healthy. It's got so many veggies in it, but it literally just tastes like spaghetti bolognese. It's so good. It's dairy free and everything but it tastes like cheesy and it's all like oh it's just so good so i thought i would share that recipe with you today and then also just show you how i make a massive batch of it to last me a few days okay, so it's literally like the easiest recipe ever i'm just going to start with getting a big saucepan out and then this is what makes the recipe like so easy and simple i literally just got this from woolies the other day it was reduced as you can see and it's just a cauliflower and mushroom like mix it even says mince on it and it's literally like a mince kind of consistency the texture is honestly so good and and it's also just like really good flavor. So I'm going to turn the heat up to like medium to high, drizzle a tiny bit of olive oil in, and then I'm going to take the cauliflower and mushroom mix, chuck it in with the oil, give it a bit of a stir, and just kind of like let it heat up and just start to cook. And I'm going to fill up the jug with some water and then pop it onto boil. Okay, so this is like the secret to making it dairy free, but also like really like cheesy and like oh anyway it's hard to explain but you'll get it if you try it and that secret is zucchini now i know i know that that sounds not like cheese not like a good secret but i swear like i was as shocked as you were when i tried it i was like what how does this taste so good so because i wanted to use one of like an old zucchini that i had in the fridge i just used a peeler and just kind of like peeled it off in little strips into a little saucepan and then i just put it on the stove filled it with some hot water and then also used this packet that i also got from Woolworths on sale and it's literally just like already made spiralized zucchini noodles so i added that in as well got the mince frying array there i've also added in some water. Kini noodles on there. They've been going for about eight minutes, so I'm going to just turn off the heat now. When they've gone translucent, that's when you know that they're ready. I usually do like the pasta and the zucchini in one, but I kind of just had so much zucchini to do that I had to just use a whole separate one. So I've also got some water boiling here. And then for pasta, I personally love this one. It's just brown rice pasta. Literally all the ingredients are, where is it? Uh, it's 100% organic brown rice. So they are gluten free and everything, but I just love them because sometimes wheat pasta so it depends what kind of pasta it is and like how good the quality is but sometimes it makes my stomach like feel so gross and I just feel really heavy after it so I like having this but you can have like buckwheat pasta or there's like all these different bean pastas but I personally just think that the brown rice pasta tastes the most like normal pasta and I just really like the taste and the texture of it so I'm just gonna add one packet of this into the boiling water Now the pasta is cooking, I'm going to work on the pasta sauce. So in with the mince, I'm going to add in a tin of these Italian diced tomatoes. Give that a bit of a stir around. And then I'm also going to be using this passata and it's just got like Italian herbs in it, which is really good. I usually just kind of like eyeball how much I want to put in it. I just like start with about half or a bit over half. And yeah, I think that was looking pretty good. I think that's like a good ratio of like the mince and also this sauce, which is really cool. Like I've still got half of it left so you can literally use it for a whole nother batch turn the heat down to like a simmer and just simmer that away look how good that looks like it literally looks like spaghetti bolognese sauce and then while the pasta's still got like a few minutes left i like to add in some onion powder into the pasta sauce because i'm just obsessed with onion powder i think it makes everything taste so much better and then also a little bit of paprika and i also like to add salt afterwards because i find like salt just gets hidden when you're cooking and then you add more of it at the end so i always add salt but just at the end because then you can like really taste it and then you're also not going like overboard on the salt now that my zucchini noodles are cooked i'm going to take them over to the stove and then i'm just going to drain it all out give them a bit of a rinse and then you'll have these like soft string cheesy kind of things Okay, so now the pasta and zucchini is all done, we can then start transferring it over. So I'm just going to put these in my bowl for lunch and then also grab out my containers for meal prep and add the pasta into them. Then we can add in the zucchini. And then we can add on in our pasta sauce. Now 
and then you're all done so as you can see the zucchini literally looks like cheese and it has that like melted cheese texture it's so good and so i was just able to get three meals out of just like one cooking session which i think just saves you so much time and you can just easily whip it out of the fridge before you're going to work or just like if you're at home and just like cannot be bothered to cook i think meal prepping just makes it so much easier to be healthy because it's like when you're hungry and you cannot be bothered to do anything you want to reach for something quick and usually not all the time but usually something quick is something that might not be so healthy so meal prepping makes it so easy especially when it looks as good as this like oh my god but i just love how easy these are to grab out of the fridge whenever i need them i love cold food and like leftover food so i literally just take it out and eat it but you could of course heat it up again i also sprinkled some onion powder on the top which makes it look like parmesan cheese it's literally filled with veggies but it's like gluten-free and dairy-free and it tastes just like spaghetti bolognese it's that same like comforting food and it's i just could not speak enough about this dish